Uh, thank you very much, Cahirlik, and welcome to Minister Roderick O'Gorman, of course, with your portfolio in the Department of Children, Equality, Disability, Integration and the Youth, of course. Um, I very much second the Fine Gael motion here on better planning for local childcare, and I want to thank Senator Emer Curry for her work on this motion, her continuous efforts to support families, her determination to find solutions, and of course this is an innovative approach. Um, the government has made strides in supports to parents, of course, in terms of having lower cost access to childcare. Um, we've seen the government investment, as Senator Curry has referenced there, in childcare building blocks and also for the fund over 25 million in autumn that's planned for extensions, extensions and the purchase of buildings, which again I think will be extremely uh, popular. But there is a challenge, Minister, and in rural areas sort of as well as in our cities um, and smaller towns. Uh, childcare waiting lists, of course, at home, I see them up to three years. Um, I deal with families who come to me explaining that there could be a three-year waiting list. Um, we do need to see supports, um, particularly in my instance, I suppose I'm looking at community childcare and how they can perhaps purchase, build and expand their service. And of course, the community childcare service in my own hometown in Banisloe is seriously in demand and the reason why, it offers preschool and after school. Um, but as well as, as Senator Curry says in this motion, as we've noted in this motion, it is about how the government has improved access, affordability and quality of provision. However, it is about the capacity that we're speaking about here. We see the population, of course, 5.2 million. Um, you know, we see an expanding population because Ireland, uh, you know, is growing. And we see families that are struggling uh, because they, they can't now get to work. In my own hometown, we have over 130 new homes. That's 130 new families, but unfortunately not an increase in facilities. Um, this means that mothers and fathers, of course, have access, need access and choice. And it could be childcare, it could be for a few hours in the morning, it could be a few hours in the afternoon. It could be to do the shopping, get some sleep, or of course, get to work, <laughs> more than anything, get to work. Uh, but let's face it, more than likely it impacts on women, uh, more so than perhaps the mums, more so than the dads. But it's again another obstacle for parents if they don't have a choice to return to work. And again, that's income coming into the household and career choice. Uh, to highlight some parts of the motion here again uh, that we've noted is empty childcare units and applications for change of use, childcare facilities that are a component of planning permission that haven't been built. Um, and again, I know, Minister, with the new childcare agency, the planned uh, new childcare agency, you know, this could be an opportunity. What we're seeing here is that this option that's been proposed here could be that the agency is working with local authorities, perhaps again linking in with the developers that this is part of the planning conditions. Uh, but again, looking at this option to lease it to private and public providers, and of course, uh, including the community childcare group, uh, it could, this option, Minister, could help accelerate immediate capacity. It's a way for us to look at how do we get immediate capacity out there, which I think is the goal, is all of our goal here. You know, I think we're very much, uh, I think, joined at the hip on that one. So, uh, like, as, as we've noted, we had Minister Dara O'Brien in here just a little bit earlier, and he spoke, of course, about the new county development plans, 10 years, which will be linked to the census, maybe linked as well to things like, you know, the, the regional growth centres that are identified for across towns, across the whole country. In my own constituency, we have one, Athlone. We have two key towns. Um, you know, that needs to be part of it. But, you know, that, that is in time to come. But we are looking at what can we do right now for immediate capacity. Um, I very much support the call for an audit to be conducted of empty childcare units, both nationally and, as has been stated here, the consideration can be given to powers the Department of Children, Equality, Disability, Integration, Youth to compel developers to make empty units available for childcare purposes. Um, Minister, it's very important that we see that the supports are in place. We're making great strides, and in your department as well, in terms of you know the supports to reduce the cost of childcare for parents. Uh, I suppose this is the next step in that challenge. Uh, you know, our ambition has been raised, our expectations are higher, um, but it is thanks to the fact that more people, more parents, more families are availing of this. Um, I think to follow on from Senator Curry as well, uh, I suppose in terms of her contribution, it's that this new model would open up opportunities for small to medium childcare providers and community-led partnerships. And it's about fostering a supportive environment for the childcare sector. And it could also act as a stepping stone uh, to further provision uh, in the future. And that's under the Better Planning for Accessible Childcare from Senator Curry as well. Uh, Minister, I know that this has been an extremely busy and active area. I know that with the new childcare agency, 
that this will give you so much more support in terms of operations, a team, you know, uh, very much dedicated and probably taking parts that sit within other agencies and departments and coalescing them together to drive real change. Uh, Minister, I do believe that this is an interesting, uh, very much an innovative potential solution that we could look at and how we could see to drive that to make sure that we have additional capacity which is going to help parents, families that are struggling right now where they cannot get access to childcare places. Thank you. Thank you.